Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli inspected on Thursday various environmental friendly development projects in Sharm Sheikh in preparation for Egypt hosting the 27th session of the UN Climate Change Conference 2022 COP27 in the Red Sea City in November. Madbouli toured development projects at the airport, the entrance to the city from the airport El Salam Road and the construction sites for a number of new hotels. The details. Accompanied by a number of ministers and senior officials, Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli inspected a number of development projects in the Red Sea Resort of Sharm Sheikh in preparation for hosting the climate change conference, the COP27 in November. Madbouli visited Sharm Sheikh Airport, where he followed up on the expansion and the development progress and process and inspected upgrading measures in the surrounding area. During the visit, the Prime Minister inspected a bus charging station established in about uh, 100,000 square meters at a capacity of 140 buses working by electricity. Madhuri participated in the opening session of the annual meetings of the Islamic Development Bank Group 2022 held under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi from the 1st till the 4th of June under the slogan of after recovery from the pandemic, resilience and the sustainability. In his speech, Prime Minister Madbouli said that the meeting comes as the world is witnessing a complicated international economic crisis, in addition to environmental challenges with the broadening effects on the agricultural fields. He stressed the significance of diversifying the financial sources. Madhuri reviewed the Egyptian experience to confront the coronavirus pandemic and the Ukrainian crisis, reiterating that the government was keen to achieve a balance between the citizens' health and maintaining the economy through pushing forward the wheel of development. The Prime Minister noted that the state would continue supporting the private sector and concentrating on the green growth. Minister of Defense Mohammed Zaki on Thursday witnessed the main phase of the Armed Forces Strategic Project of Commandership Centers Amr 7, which lasted for several days and came in the framework of Mobilization Strategic Exercise Plan. The exercise was attended by Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces, Usama Askar, and commanders of the main branches. The main phase of the strategic plan showed the high level of readiness on the Armed Forces' different branches. The General Commander of the Armed Forces conveyed to the army commander's greetings from President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the supreme commander of the armed forces. And to details, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli stressed the government's keenness on contacting directly with investors to solve issues and remove obstacles they might face. During his meeting with Emirati businessman Omar Abdullah Al Futim, the CEO of Al Futim Group, Madbouli reiterated that there are many incentives by the investment law and good environment to attract investments regarding Egypt's infrastructure, especially in the field of industry. For his part, Al Futim asserted that the group is working on enlarging enlarging its investments in the Egyptian market to reach more than $700 million during the coming three years. Egypt's stock market indices fluctuated on Thursday, being affected by purchasing operations by Arab and foreign investors. The main EGX 30 index retreated 0.76%. The small and medium EGX 70 index soared 0.54%. The more expanded EGX 100 index soared 0.45%. The overall transactions and dealings within this session reached 1 billion pounds.